Hello, today I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the Electric Eel Wheel Nano 2 spindle. So uh, this uh, portion in the center is the spindle and specifically we're going to be talking about the orifice hole. So I've, I've written some uh, documents about this and talked about it on social media, but I wanted to make this video to get out to those people who don't uh, maybe look at Facebook as much. Um, basically with the Nano 2 I changed the type of plastic that I'm using for the uh, Nano 2 compared to the Nano 1 and it wears away a little bit faster and up until now I've been telling people that they can repair it pretty easily by either putting some metal tape and sort of gluing it into place where they start to see maybe a little groove here or they can uh, fill in that little groove with you know using glue or um, there's a bunch of other suggestions that have been put out there and uh, in addition to those, I wanted to add one more today. So I've actually made two different 3D printed inserts. So this one I made using a standard 3D printer that I have at my house. It uses an FDM process. So that basically is extruding plastic in, uh, through a little nozzle and it makes a, a plastic piece. And I just made this one out of uh, PLA, which is sort of the easiest to print, but there's all sorts of different materials and some of them will be more wear abrasive. But the idea is that you can print these very inexpensively because they're so small and just sort of replace them as they wear out. And uh, I've done a little bit of testing with these and they seem to work pretty well. So uh, these will insert just like this. Make sure I get it the right way. So you want to put this little gap towards the front and then you sort of pinch it closed and you press it into the hole like this and it'll kind of click into place and then I use a, usually a little pencil or something to sort of push it into its final place and at this point it's sort of locked into position and you can continue spinning. It makes the hole here a little bit smaller, um, so there is that downside, but um, you know, it makes a replaceable little insert that you can use. Now, i um, just gonna pop that out. There we go. Now, I also have made this. So this um, is a metal uh, part. It's actually the first metal part I've ever 3D printed. Now I didn't, I can't do this on my home 3D printer. I outsourced this uh, to a company and I'll, I'll leave the links to this in my uh, description. It's, what's it called? It's a company called Craft Cloud, which outsources printing to a whole bunch of different makers and you get to select the materials and the process and stuff that's being used. But this little guy is like really hard. Like the other one, I can easily cr cr um, close that gap with my fingers. But this guy, like, man, I'm just trying to show you how hard it is. But like, I really cannot close that gap. I mean, I'm really pushing hard here. I mean, like I'm denting my fingers on this thing and it's, it's barely budging, but it does flex a t tiny amount. Um, so what I did with this one, it's a little bit different shape. There's actually different 3D models for each of these. Um, so this one um, actually just sort of goes in like this. And in my testing, it just sort of stayed there, but it doesn't clip into place quite as well. So you may end up wanting to glue it, but since it's metal, um, it uh, is not, it's gonna take a long time for this one to wear out. So um, I think that, you know, just try put, if you order some of these, um, you can just insert them and, but if they, they're falling out, then maybe just a little bit of super glue. Uh, I also noticed that the edges are a little bit rough. So before you insert it, you might want to just use a little bit of sandpaper and uh, sort of smooth off the insides. In my testing, it didn't matter much, but I'm pretty sure certain fibers might snag a little bit on this but uh, a little bit of fine grain sandpaper to sort of smooth and polish the inside of the uh, orifice here would make it work well. And again, I'm just lining the little gap up with the front and I insert it and you're good to go. You probably wanna 
Um, if you have a little bit of balance issues, you might want to put one on each side, but uh, the part wasn't that expensive because it was so small. As for the price, I mean, the price is constantly changing, but when I ordered these metal parts, because they're so small, I got 10 of them and it was $25. And then shipping was another $25. So I got uh, 10 of them for $50 total, uh, which, you know, if you can get a few people together so that you don't have to order two at a time and pay really high shipping prices, then, um, you know, it's uh, not that expensive and it really does fit in there a lot better than um, other solutions because I've designed the model to fit, you know, the specific hole. So that's all I wanted to show off today. And I hope this is helpful to some people. Thanks for watching.